Hey guys, Tim here, and today I'm going to be walking through a little bit of how to set up a alternating uh, scoreboard display for your toolbar slot. Um, basically, I've seen a lot of people wanting to try to figure this out uh, to have multiple objectives displayed in the toolbar slot. I've tried it myself. It's kind of difficult. There is a way to do it that's out there that's probably the most popular, and that's by um, assigning objectives their own player names and then um, adding an operation to change it. It's a little more complicated than I wanted to work with. So I came up with this build and I, I really like it. Um, and I just figured I would share it with you guys and hopefully um, it helps somebody else out. So what we have here first is a old clock circuit. It's really slow. Uh, I needed it to have a slower pulse than the, the really quick clock circuits that you can create with command blocks. So I went with this design. Um, then I ran it through a lot of repeaters to slow it down even more. Uh, just a tip for anybody that's building this, if you do want to adjust the time, make sure you adjust the repeater, the very first repeater first, and then go on down the line, because you want to, it, it, for some reason it just doesn't accept it right if you adjust the other ones before the first one. So we had the red, redstone signal coming down the line, getting slowed down as much as I could uh, to the first command block. The first command block will give you a scoreboard. It will actually set the display of the scoreboard objective in the sidebar to ZB. And ZB is an objective that I created earlier, which displays how many zombies you've killed. As you can see on the right of the screen, it's displaying that right now. And so it gets activated first by the redstone signal. The signal then carries around over to this piston, which is slowed as much as I can with more repeaters. Uh, which is attached to a sticky piston with a redstone block that turns this command block off and on, off and on, which basically displays the skeleton objective that I said earlier. So um, basically it's just a clock circuit that's had the timing adjusted like really well to make it switch between the two displays in the toolbar. Um, it's the best way that I've come up with and I'm really happy with it. Uh, you should be able to add more objectives. Uh, just you know, you can just put another command block down here, and just run more redstone around, just like I did with this one, and uh, another piston. And it would take a little bit of work with the repeaters to get the timing done right, but I, theoretically, I think it should be able to uh, work with a lot more objectives and more timing. So. Uh, there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you have any more any questions or any other videos or any other types of builds that you would like to see, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, I'm going to be posting a lot more videos about some really cool stuff that I found in the most recent Minecraft 1.8 snapshot. Uh, really, really cool stuff that I've come up with. So if you all like what you watch this video, make sure to hit that follow button, slam the like button, and you guys have a great day. Thanks.